Let me show you how to uh, add some uh, extra power in your smashes and how to be uh, stronger in your, uh, your muscles, in, in the arm, the shoulder, and also how to uh, get a more explosive swing when you do the, the full power smash. Let me show you how you can add some extra power in your smash. How to get some uh, stronger muscles in your arm and the shoulder. And also how to have um, a more explosive swing when you do the power smash. As you can see, I have two rackets. This is my uh, normal uh, badminton racket. And this is uh, a power trainer. They are uh, exactly the same, but the power trainer is, uh, is more heavy. Um, you can get this power trainer in different grams. This one I have here is uh, 130 grams. I would uh, recommend this, this weight uh, to be used because if you add more weight to, to the power trainer, it will be um, too tricky for you to keep an eye on the right technical things in the smash. I would uh, really recommend this, um, this for you also in uh, in, in, in training all the power, not only in the smash, but in the, the flat game and the defense, uh, defense strokes and all these things. So the power trainer is extremely good at practicing this and getting uh, stronger in your arm and also in your swing. When you are training with the power trainer, it will be more tricky for your arm to generate the same amount of power. So your muscles will need to work harder and when they work harder, they get stronger. Same with the shoulder, it will get uh, stronger and it will also be more explosive because I need to generate more power in this position when I'm doing the smash than with my uh, normal racket. So it's a really good way on training these things, on getting stronger and have a more explosive and quick swing. If you want to learn all the basic techniques in the smash, in the power smash, we have made a really cool video about that. You can hit the link below and then you can see how to use all the, the technical things, how to use your body and all the, the technical things on how to hit the power smash with the hip and the elbow and the grip and all these things. This video is all about adding extra power with the power trainer. This is a really good way on, uh, on training this. And it's actually really fun if you, for example, take 10 shuttles with the power trainer and you quickly change to the normal racket, you will, uh, you will see that it will be much easier for you to generate uh, the power with the normal uh, racket because your arm is, um, is more ready to use the muscles. You are, you are in a stronger position uh, to be able to hit the harder smashes. So try to mix them up using the power trainer, normal, power trainer and normal and see what happens. I think it will be, uh, it will be a good uh, eye opener for you to see that uh, your muscles can actually work even harder than when you only do, do it with the normal rack. One, um, one thing that's tricky when you use the power trainers is to ha have eye on the right technique. Because it is harder for you to do the stroke you can, in some cases, uh, forget a little bit about how to use the right technique. So you just uh, generate the power because it's so heavy, you need to practice uh, the smash and you need to hit really, really hard. So you forget to rotate your body, you forget the elbow, the rotation on the forearm, all these things. So keep focused on the technique while you're doing it uh, with the power trainer. In addition to the power trainer, you can add some different tools to increase your strength and your muscles in your forearm and also in your shoulder. As you can see here, I have a, a normal uh, hand weight. This one is uh, two kilos. You can, uh, you can use one kilo, you can use maybe three or four, depending on, on your strength in general. What's good about this hand weight is that we can do it, uh, we can do it at home we can, uh, and we can do it really quickly. We can increase the muscle power very quickly 
when we use all these uh, strengthened exercises. I will uh, just briefly show you uh, three quick exercises you can do in order for you to uh, improve your muscle power in your around the wrist, in the forearm and also uh, further up in the shoulder. Everything I do here is to do the rotation in the forearm and also in, in the shoulder. And the first exercise is where you have it like this. You only rotate this part of your arm down here. So you can see the muscles are working, but in this area. This one is really, really good on focusing on the small rotations down towards your wrist. Second exercise is where we rotate the forearm. So now I use a bigger rotation and you can see now that the muscles in the forearm are really working hard when I do all these rotation exercises. The last exercise you can do still with the rotation is where you add a bigger rotation towards your arm and also to strengthen a little bit up in your shoulder. So now you rotate the arm and the shoulder and the elbow like this. When you have your arm out in front of you, it will get pretty hard and you, I can see that I can feel now that I'm getting a little bit tired now in my muscles. I can really feel that they are working very, very hard all the way up to my shoulder. If I take them in here, it's more located to this area instead of using the, the upper arm and also the shoulder. So that's a, a few good examples on how to use a, a hand weight uh, when you are in the weight training center or maybe just uh, at home. You can also do it uh, with, uh, to warm up your, your arm before a match or something like that. So um, a hand weight, two kilos, really good to do. The next small tool that I uh, am gonna show you uh, is a, um, a hand weight training tool like this, where you need to uh, pressure it together in order for you to be stronger in your muscles, in your hand and in your wrist and also in your forearm. It's pretty simple, there's nothing to it. It's just uh, pressure it together like this. And as you can see, the muscles are really, really working hard when I do this and I can also feel in my hand is really really working hard and I I'm getting tired after like 10 maybe 12 15 of these I can feel now that my arm is getting more tired and my muscles are working very very hard just uh, loosen your arm a little bit just to be ready again and then you can take maybe 10 or 12 more like this So in this way, it's very, very easy for me to strengthen the muscles around my hand and, and in my forearm. A nice little fun tool to, uh, to do in addition to the power trainer and the hand weight. All of these things add together will give you more power in your smash. It will make you stronger all the way up in your, uh, in your rotation in your arm. And uh, that should lead up to uh, a better and uh, more powerful smash. The use of the power trainer can be really good in many, many strokes in badminton. I would really recommend for you to get a power trainer if you want to be more explosive, more strong in your muscles, hit harder in the flat game, the defense, but also in, in the smash. Train this a lot and uh, remember it's okay to be really, really tired in your arm and uh, after you are, your workout that you are very, very tired, the muscles are almost uh, a bit sore and you can uh, almost uh, not hit a normal smash. It's okay, as long as you don't get uh, injuries in the elbow or the shoulder. So watch out for yourself and be careful on uh, not doing it too much, of course, but still do it a lot to be, uh, to be stronger and to be more explosive in your swing, especially in the smash.